I, I love I love where music is right now. It's at a beautiful place, and um, I just want to add to the art, man. You know, I just want to represent the District of Columbia to the fullest. To Yo, the fullest. How you feeling about that though? Like the back home sound of DC. Like, do you think more of the world is getting hip to it, or they still ain't see half of it yet? Um, man, you know what? DC is really slept on, man. Like, we don't we really don't get the credit that we deserve, and a lot of these people really steal from us heavily. Heavily on the theory of DC, man. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to the dances, to the fashion, to the flows, to the um everything, you know what I'm saying? But I love where DC music is at right now, and um shout out to all the artists from the city, man. DC, Murder, and Virginia, we always been talented, and I just can't wait for us to get on that official platform, like Cali, like Atlanta, like New York, like Texas, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I can't wait till we get to that. But but we gonna get there. What I you believe. think the, the hold up is though? Like what you think? If you could point point pinpoint it, what's holding y'all back for like a better word? Like a lot of people don't know that Washington D.C. is not a state. Mm. It's fifty states in the United States of America. Washington D.C. is not a state. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We the capital of the United States. D.C. is very very small. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> D.C. is like one borough in New York. You know what I'm saying? It's very very small, and we beefing heavily. Mm heavily the murder rate and, and and the crime in dc is heavy and that's what's holding us back because we don't have enough manpower to sit everybody down at a big ass table and say look this shit got to stop we got the talent it's right there in our hand let's go get that shit you know what i'm saying once we could be able to do that and i said been a lot of blood been shed and i get that but M nothing's more important than money, man, and mm -hmm. taking care of your family and prospering and striving. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need. We need to be able to put the bullshit aside and link up and get this money and everybody share fans, everybody share these concerts, everybody share the love and share the sugar. And, yeah, you, and we could win. It's crazy because we hear, we hear that, but can we... Do you think that's possible, though, for real? Like, for it not to be no beef and niggas just come together as one? Bro, any I believe that anything is possible. Mm. So yes, I believe that if 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 a, if if enough good niggas come and we put our mind to it and say, look, man, let's cut this bullshit aside, let's get this paper. I believe it's possible. It's gonna be extremely hard yeah. because I mean, you gotta be from D.C. to know what's really really going on in the city. But it could be done. It, it could be done. It just we just need enough motherfuckers and a big enough table to sit down there and say, look, man, we gotta let it go. Let's go get some paper. It's just crazy because, like, I was, <laughs> it's random, but I, um, I feel like we've been t having the same conversation for years, bro, for mm -hmm. decades. Like, I was watching South Central the other day, and remember when, I don't know if you've seen South Central, right? When uh, Bobby, OG Bobby Johnson got locked up, the mm -hmm. Muslim came to him, he like, man, basically you got to put that, that dumb shit to the side. Absolutely. We've been having this conversation for so long. Yeah. Like, niggas fighting over the block, niggas killing them because, the, and then a the nigga came up. Now he, he ain't looking out for his people. The same bullshit been happening. Yeah. So I'm just like, man, do we embrace this shit at this point? Or do we continue to try to get everybody? Because it's like, everybody ain't going to be the, on, on the same side, bro. Well, you always got to try. Facts. You always got to try. No um, I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't settle for less. I can't embrace the fact that we not coming together and really getting this paper and, and really clicking up and, and, and showing the world what DC can do. I mm -hmm. can't embrace that. I always got to strive for the best. I'm always in my phone texting niggas like, man, I appreciate you for being real. Like, let's get this money. Like, what's up, man? I'm coming to fuck with you. I just want to come to your video shoot, bro. Pop out, show love. If I get in the camera, show my face, that's cool. But if not, I just want to support you. And I'm, I'm, I'm real heavy on that because I've been sitting back in prison and reading magazines and watching these videos and watching these interviews and like, what Atlanta is doing, how all these artists in the A can really pull up on each other and make music, tapes, albums, shoot videos, it, it could be done. You know what I'm saying? I think um, part of it is we get away from small cities because I was talking about this about Baltimore. I feel like we, us being so talented can be like a detriment. And what yeah. I mean by that is we don't have one particular sound. Right. You feel me? Like, I feel like it's so many Atlanta rappers that sound similar mm -hmm. that it's easy for, okay, I like that. I can get him or I can get him. Mm -hmm. Whereas, though, like in smaller cities, it's like you got a nigga that's going to sound like this, sound like that, and they all sound good, yeah. but we can't really pinpoint it to one particular sound, if that yeah. makes sense. But 
if if we could come together and put the work like I could bring my sound to the studio and you could bring your sound to the studio and if we work hard at it we could make it mesh Facts. or we could fuck around and create a whole new sound. Facts. It could be done. Facts. You just got to be willing to put the work in. A lot of motherfuckers ain't willing to put the work in. All right, so look, we're going to have a little fun, right? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a call it charge it to his brain, not his heart. So we're okay. going to just set the stage, right? Charge it to his brain, not his heart because we ain't on no, no weirdo shit. Who is the hottest, the next hottest young nigga coming out of DC? Charge it to your brain, not your heart. So I mean, you can make a mistake or whatever. You can miss, miss talk if you make it, whatever. The next hottest nigga that's the coming out of DC. Nigga. It gotta be one. Can it be like a few, a couple? Give me three. Give you three. Um, young niggas, like that's crazy. Young niggas, I say Kai, the little nigga NSC Kai. From the south side, he hard. Um, baby J Mo mm -hmm. from 37. That heard nigga hard, him. bro. I heard about him. His shit hard, like for real. And um, shit. Glock Jones. Mm -hmm. Glock Jones from uptown. That nigga hard. Baby J Mo and Glock Jones locked up right now, but they shit hard, bro. Like they, if they can stay home and stay consistent with the music and and, and grow, like elevate as far as sound and and work at the they can make it big. Do you reach out to the, like you said, they locked up. So clearly their story is a little similar to you. Mm -hmm. When you see things like that and you hear, when you hear shit like that, do you reach out to the young niggas like, yo, come on, man. Absolutely. Mm. Um, When I was just home last year, I had Glock Jones pull up on my block. Mm. And, and, um, and I was just giving them game, you know what I'm saying, about the industry, what to expect and, 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 and you know, what what's what's a no go and what's a good move? Um, I talked to Babe when I was locked up. We did a three way, and I was on the phone with a good man that's over the jail. And Baby Jamo was on the unit with him. He called Baby Jamo over to the phone, and I hollered at him too. Like, look, nigga, when you come home, bro, we already know what you mean to the streets. We know you know your name ain't nothing to be fucked with. You from a well known hood that's 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 known for putting in work. Put that shit to the side, my nigga, and let's get this money. Work hard on, on on being an artist and taking care of your family, getting your family out the hood. I reach out to all them niggas. Like I got I got relationships with all them young niggas, bro. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yo, charge it to his brain, not his heart, right? Mm -hmm. Top five artists out of DC. Top five. Um, top five. Yeah. Uh, damn. Top five, I say me, Shy Glizzy, mm -hmm. um, Wale. Okay. Um, two more, man. That was easy right there. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, Shy yeah, Glizzy, yeah. come yeah, on, man. I should have told you without y'all. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> um, shit, man. No Savage. Um, crazy. That nigga baller, that nigga baller could rap his ass off, bro. Mm. Tyler, very talented. And um, Baby J-Mo. Okay, that's not bad. And Glock Jones, man. And Slime Goon from Uptown. It's a, I know you said top five, no, but man, it's a, it's a lot of niggas, man. Like, nah, man, bro, we, we coming. It's a new nigga named Commons from 58th. He hard, bro. Mm. That nigga hard. He like that. Dope as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? 